Hey guys, this is Eric from ET Figure Unboxing, and in this video, we're going to take a look at Figma number 283, Kiryu Kazuma from the video game Yakuza. And I didn't know Yakuza was made by Sega, so that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't play the video game, but it looks to me like a Japanese version of um, Grand Theft Auto. And do let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, and I know that Yakuza is the biggest gang or mafia in Japan, right? Hmm. But yeah, um, this guy looks really, really cool. I pre-ordered it the first time when it came out. Um, they kind of delayed this a little bit. I don't know why. But yeah, here's the left of the box. Here is the right of the box. And here is the back of the box. And it looks really, really good. Um, that's not wasting any more time and bust this thing open and see what we got. All right, so here we have the figures still in their inner packaging. And as you guys can see, he doesn't come with a whole lot. Um, they tend to do this thing nowadays where, you know, they give us barely enough. Like, no more, no less. Um, to the point where we can't really complain. Um, but I would argue that they can give us a little a little bit more at least another face play but i don't know i don't know anything about the character so maybe he doesn't need a whole lot but do let me know in the comments if they could have given us something else um let's check out the figure itself. all right so here we have the figure itself and this one is pretty straightforward and by that i mean there's nothing new for us to talk about in terms of technology and sculpt um it's not the first time we see characters with suit from max factory um i think the only thing for us to talk about is probably the face sculpt which is really objective um i'm kind of indifferent about it i think it could definitely look better but i don't hate it you know i think it's still looks pretty decent from certain angles um but yeah do let me know in the comments what you guys think but i think it's kind of like you know figma bruce lee some people don't like it and some people appreciate it i think it's you know very objective or you know like a cultural thing you know japanese people might like this kind of style and you know some people might not from america and yeah I think they're not best when it comes to, you know, characters that are not anime, but I think this is definitely pretty decent. And let's check out the articulation. All right, so for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. Um, he can look up that much and he can look down around this much. Um, not so much up, but pretty good I'm going down. And you can turn his head, no problem. And the shoulder is on a standard ball joint. And this is not my favorite design, but it works. Um, you can move his arm all the way up. You just got to be careful with the pain rubbing over here. And you can curl and you do have a bicep swivel. It's just a standard fake mount joint and you do have a ball wrist over here so that's really nice and my least favorite part on the figure it's probably the hip over here um i don't think he has ab crunch um i could be mistaken let me just try to play around with it yeah i don't think he has ab crunch but he has a really really big range for um the hip but this is really really loose like this part is like just very loose i don't like that um it could be just my figure but i've had this happen to a lot of my um figma figures with the same design or they just get loose over time you can actually pull this down and then it allows for a little bit more articulation but that will make it even more loose so i don't really like that um solid snake was the same way and there's some other characters like um characters from free is like that as well i'm not sure if they're gonna fix that anytime soon but it's no problem like he can stand i just don't like it like when i know my fig figure is kind of loose in some way you know like yeah I, I don't like that but anyways um that's okay and he can bend his leg around this much and you do have side to side pivot because we have a fig mount joint and you don't have a toe hinge and yeah that's it for the articulation and let's jump straight into the accessories all right so first off we have the default face and we've seen this one already it's kind of like you know badass angry you know mafia face you know they're always like just trying to like you know Kono yaro, baka yaro, you know like that kind of stuff but yeah um it's personal preference i think it looks pretty good at least i can tell like which character it is right um i know they're trying to do that kind of anime look but i don't think it works for everyone but yeah um it's not for you to decide I, I still think it's pretty good though and this is our only choice for the character and i like the character a lot all right so next up we have the neutral face and at first i thought it's like a smirking face because the first one just looks so angry um but it turns out it's just a neutral face Koneado. Alright, so lastly we have the shouting face, and this one looks a little bit awkward to me, but I still think it's um it's okay, it's not too bad. Um yeah. Alright, so next up he came with a pair of relaxed open hands, and yeah, you can use it as if he's trying to surrender or something or you know try to calm people down. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, so next up he has a pair of Figma holding hands, and these are pretty standard, and that looks pretty good. Alright, so next up, he only came with one right hand for you to hold a gun, um, which is kind of surprising. I can't believe Figma did that. Um, dual wielding is always fun, and even though we only have one gun, we can always find another gun from Figma characters, right? But anyways, um, here is the gun, and it's really nicely sculpted, very well detailed. And let's check out what that so looks here like. Here we have him assembled with a gun, and he looks really badass. I don't even think James Bond can screw with him. It looks really, really good. Alright, so next up we came with one right hand for you to hold the cigarettes. And the cigarettes are extremely small and they give you two in case if you lose it. Um, I think as soon as you drop it to the floor, the floor fairy is going to eat it. So yeah, just try not to lose it. 
All right, so lastly, he came with a bottle of drink. And from the looks of it, I think it's an energy drink. Um, I didn't play the game, so I don't know exactly what this is. Uh, but they do give you stickers to put on it. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess Mafia needs to take a lot of Red Bull because they're busy killing people, selling drugs, and collecting safety fees. But yeah, um, anyways, let's jump straight into the size comparison. So for the size comparison, we can start with some Dragon Ball SH Fig Arts. Some Naruto SH Fig Arts, even though Naruto is not in it. SH Fig Arts Kamen Dai Da Gosto. Some SH Fig Arts Marvel figures. Some random SH Fig Arts. Some SH Fig Arts Star Wars figures. Next up, we have him next to some Figma figures, and that looks pretty good. Alright, so lastly, we have the SH Fig Arts Amazon Alpha and Omega, Super Action Statues Kaneki, and the Vulcan Log Union Creative Revolt Tag Venom Snake, which is a really good figure. But yeah, anyways, let's jump straight into the final. Alright, so overall, I think the figure is pretty solid. And in terms of accessories, I think they gave us the bare minimum, but I think that tends to be the trend these days. I'm pretty sure they did the math and everything, and that's all they could give us. Uh, we can always complain for more, but you know, there's really nothing we can do about it. We can just, you know, trust the brand. That's all we can do. Um, but in terms of sculpt and paint, I think it looks pretty good. Again, I kept talking about the face sculpt. I'm kind of indifferent about it because I really do like the character, and this is probably the best articulated. Um, this guy, what was the name again? I don't even know his name. I know the name in Chinese, um, Kiru Kazuma. Yeah, so I think this is the best representation of him right now, right? So, yeah, um, if you're familiar with Figma, you will know exactly what you're getting, um, based on, you know, what you saw earlier. And if you're new to the figure industry and thinking about buying figure because of the character, I think you should totally go for it. Um, you know, just try it. If you don't like it, you know, you can always sell it on eBay. It's very easy to get rid of these um high quality figures. But yeah, um I think you're gonna enjoy it. Um if this is your first time like thinking about buying figures. And you know if you get into the hobby you get to see me a lot more. But yeah, um, anyways, I think that's it from me. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And do let me know if you have any questions. And this is Eric. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.